ISR First Class V here, back with another GCSS Army helpful tip video. So today, we've already completed our shop stock series on how to conduct the inventory from start to finish. So make sure you check out those videos. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Today, we're going to talk about MRP areas, okay? We're going to try to explain the different types of MRP areas. When I talk about MRP areas, I'm talking about PD, ZV, ZM, ZP, all right? What do these mean? What are they supposed to look like? And how do I set reorder points, safety stocks, etc. right? So we're going to talk about that today, all right? I'm going to give you a brief overview. So I got this PowerPoint here. If you would like a copy of this PowerPoint, just go ahead and reach out to me. Um, comment down below and I'll get this to you. All right, just one second. All right, so shop stock. Okay, I call this shop stock logic, right? So the problem, numerous organizations have reported to the shop stock report BI Launchpad is not accurately portraying their organization's parts, right? So there's four different areas of MRP that we use, okay? Which is your ZV, which is your demand supported. Now these lines are, um, they're based off demand analysis. So if you order a part, believe it's three times within six months, it becomes demand supported, right? So that's your ZV lines. Your command directed lines are the, the lines that your commander says, hey, we got to stock this. This is what I want, right? Your ZP lines are your professional new fielding. So most of us, unless we have some new fielding of equipment, we should not be using ZP lines. However, I know a lot of us just got issued the new pistols for the, uh, you know, to replace the M9. So it comes with two different pistol grips. So that second set of pistol grips should be on your provisional ZP shop stock listing, right? Then you got your PD, which is bench stock. Now, well, PD, like everything the Army we order until we consume it, it's all PD, right? So your safety stocks and reorder points. So when we're talking about safety stock reorder points, your ZV lines are the only ones that actually have a reorder point, okay? And the only way to adjust reorder points or to change a ZV line in shop stock is to go through your SPO. There's a certain T code they use, and I listed it here, ZMM02FOX, right? So you have to contact your SPO for that. That cannot be done at the unit level. However, your ZV lines, you at the unit level, you do have um, the capability to turn off the replenish. So you can do that. Now your ZM, ZP, and PD operate stock levels and adjust by the maintenance manager level, okay? So you can do this right from your mat sit. Then, as you know, your bench stock is identified by an X on the mat sit and can be updated there, there as well. The same thing with your bin locations. Now, I know a lot of us go through uh, my workplace and we're able to assign, you know, um, parts or material a bin location. You may be able to do that, but you're not actually updating the MRP area. So just keep that in mind, all right? So just a few rules with bench stock, right? Have you ever seen this error where it says, hey, this does not meet the criteria uh, as bench stock, right? So bench stock can only be set when these are met. CI CIIC code of U or J, the ARC is X for expendable, return indicator is non-repairable, and the MACAT, the second character is two, which is stock funded. And these are your classes supply of two, three, four, and nine. All right. So here's your material situation report. So if you were to right click, you're able to actually adjust these, right? But like I said, only ZV lines are the only ones that actually will have a reorder point in it. Okay. Now, your other lines can have a safety stock, but your ZV lines are the only ones that will actually have a reorder point or RP, okay? So stock logic, like I've had a unit reach out to me uh, about a week ago. They keep turning in tires, they keep getting more tires. They turned in 12 tires, they get another 12. So the reason for that was they didn't capture that it was, a, they had it as ZV, demand supported stock right so i had to go in the system and change it from zv and actually fix the stock level or the replenish point on that all right so keep that in mind so 
Um, when we're talking about bench stock, make sure that we have that bolt indicator applied and the bin location added. Okay, that's a requirement for the for the uh, uh, bench stock. Now shop stock, right? You have a safety stock set, your bin location, or both, right? So that's how you determine if it's a shop stock. Now, like I said, your provisional stock is a bin location required, uh, set to meet RO objectives. Should not have a bench stock indicated. Your ZP should not be set as a bench stock. Your ZM is your command directed stock, which is classified as shop stock by the MRP type. It does have a bin location, has a sh uh, safety stock, and you should have a bin indicator applied. All right. So your ZV lines is your demand supported stock. It's classified as shop stock, but the bin location is required. The ROP is required to meet the requisition objectives. So um, I know that sounds a little confusing, but the more you play with the shop stock and the and you you get the hang of the lines, you'll understand it. It's just the most important thing to remember is that your ZV lines are your demand supported. Okay, so if you're if you're running your demand analysis. Um, like you're supposed to quarterly, you can capture this. Now from that screen, when you do it, you're able to automatic, you know, you can adjust those those stock levels and all that stuff. So keep that in mind. But like I said, make sure you're talking to your commander the way it's supposed to be and this stuff is filed in accordance with ARAMs and assigned. Your ZM lines is your command direct lines, like I told you before, right? So if your commander wants you to stock something, make sure you have it in writing and there's documentation for it. We talked about provisional lines, which is your new fielding equipment. All right, unless you got brand new equipment, you should not be using ZP lines. Uh, PD is your bench stock when indicator is set. So, like I said, um, I want to show you an example of my unit's ZV lines, right? So, I'm in the process of actually clearing some of these ZV, ZV lines out. But if you can see, if you if you can tell like just because something is saying hey this is demand supported doesn't mean you got to make it demand supported all right that's you you and your commander's call all right um, this, some of the stuff is nonsense like nuts and adhesive right so make sure you're setting your shop stock correctly all right in the MRP uh, type. And like I told you, ZV lines have a reorder point. They're the only ones that have a reorder point, all right? Everything else is going to have a safety stock level. And another thing about your stop stock, right? So if you're doing your turn-ins the correct way, which is actually turning them into the SSA and not just clearing them, you won't have all these FOX codes on your shop stock. You should not have any FOX codes. You should not be stocking anything is unserviceable right so just keep that in mind like i was telling you before this was the uh unit that i the tires they kept coming in they turn in some they get some right back so if you look they had the uh, mrp type set as zv and the reorder point at 21. so that's crazy like use common sense when, you, when you're looking at this right so i hope this video was helpful um I have another video coming out on demand analysis in the next few days telling you how to actually run the demand analysis and how it all coincides and what all the numbers mean. Um, like I said, I hope this video was helpful. Leave your comments down below. If you'd like a copy of the slideshow, let me know and I'll get it to you. Um, as always, go ordinance.